Welcome to TechUV.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek and today we're going to work on the channel selection and use dodge and burn tool to make a selection. So we already discussed the channel selection. Channel selection is what we use different color tones like red, blue and green to make a selection according to a particular tone of the picture. And then we're going to use the dodge and burn tool to actually highlight the parts of the picture that we want to cover. This tool is one of the most pro tips, pro tool that many people use to actually select uh, pictures that are impossible to select by any other method, even the channel selection, tonal selection. So, dodge and burn tool actually allows us to pinpoint particular objects in a picture and intelligently select it. So let's see what we can do here. So we're going to apply our channel selection as you know. And then we're going to use the dodge and burn tool here. You can see this is the dodge tool. Which actually highlights the picture. Highlights a particular uh, exposure of the picture. So let's pick a picture to work on. I think... Okay, all right, maybe this one. So, as you can see, this is pretty messy picture to be selected by any other method. We're gonna try to select all these branches, little branches, which I don't think can be selected by quick selection tool as we know it. And so we're gonna actually use to exaggerate all the exposure in these branches you can see the red green and blue exposure of this picture in the channels panel here and we're gonna try to make a copy of blue because it's the darkest of all and now we're gonna exaggerate all the colors on the levels by pressing ctrl l and reduce the mid tones and increase the high tones as you can see Try to get a balance between increasing the high tone and reducing the mid tones. I think as long as it doesn't distort your picture and it makes sure that all the portions that you want are selected. The mid tones is actually gonna brighten up the less highlighted things and the higher tones are gonna exaggerate all the more highlighted things as you can see. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our dodge tool and make sure this is selected at highlights and increase the exposure to 50. Oh, yeah, 50%. You want to actually select a bigger brush to make sure that it all covers up the picture quickly. And as you can see, what the dodge tool does, it, it actually highlights the lower levels of the picture making it easier for the higher density uh, the like the blue color here to get selected easily because we have selected highlights above so our selection in this picture will be of highlights so all the dark portion in the picture is going to be selected as you can see this gives a pretty good selection and what we're going to do now is we're going to press control and as you can see it controls all the highlights of the picture and then press on RGB to have a selection of the RGB in the format of our blue selection that we did. You can see we still have all these colors and the blue copy that we made but we just selected the highlights of the blue copy and then applied the selection on the RGB. So that's what we did here. Here we go. On RGB. You can see when I click on RGB. This selection is made on our original image. So you can actually try to increase the darkness of the burn by the burn tool. 
Rejecting highlights, but that won't be necessary because we took care of it by the levels. Okay. So that's it. That was all how it did, selected the messy part by using the dodge and burn tool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press shift control I to invert the image. And you can see what we're going to do is we're going to press control shift I to invert our selection and select all the part that was sky and not the selection that we made. And then it selects all the rest of the portion of the picture. And then we're going to press delete. Oh, wait a second. We're going to press first control shift I that inverts our selection and then we're gonna press delete and there it goes that's the selection that we wanted we wanted all this messy part to be selected easily and that's what it did you can grab it around by selecting the arrow tool that's now that that's a picture now you can use it any way you want behind any graphic you want you can press ctrl d to uh, deselect your selection so that was our dodge and burn tool and how we used it to make a selection and then apply it on the original image thanks for watching please like and subscribe